Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Kia Sorento EX. Now the most notable features on this EX is its panoramic roof. You also have your heated front seats as well as your heated steering wheel. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Kia Sorento EX. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this EX is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look, you do have the hood deflector and over on the side, you'll see your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. Taking a look on the inside of the mirror, you're gonna see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with that indicator, it'll actually light up just learning if there is another vehicle right beside you. Up top you have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you have your black interior with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on the left hand side you have your blind spot monitor on and off as well as your traction control on and off. Seat memory controls as well as your power folding mirrors, mirror controls, window locks, power locks and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your voice recognition, volume control, Bluetooth connectivity, mode select, cruise control. You do have the push button start. So all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. So as you can see, you have your range and fuel economy on here. You can go through your audio as well as your service and settings menu just so you can personalize everything for yourself. It does come with an exterior temperature gauge. Taking a look at the center dash area, you'll find you have your AMP FM as well as your CD player along with your satellite radio on here. Going inside the setup menu, you have your main voice display as well as a couple of other additional features. Temperature control settings located down below for the dual zone climate control. Heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, heated steering wheel. USB and auxiliary input with your power outlets, mounted to an automatic transmission, drive mode, all-wheel drive lock, and rear parking sensors on and off. Up top, you'll find your auto-dimming rearview mirror with your digital compass, and then you have your open and close for your panoramic roof with the sunglass case holder. And taking a look at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors located right across. On the back of the tailgate, you have your backup camera just on the left-hand side and the rear hatch release located just underneath. As you can see, you have a 60-40, or I should say 50-50 split for the third row, so if you need the additional cargo room, it's available to you. But if you need additional passengers, it's also available for you as well. Now, if you need extra cargo room, you can fold down the second row for yourself as well. Underneath the floor, You'll find your jack and toolkit as well as some under the floor storage space. And over on the right hand side, you'll find your power outlet. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.